Interior design, I never get tired of talking about this topic as you may already know by now. Which is why today I'm gonna try to convince you to become an interior designer if you are not one already. I'm kidding, I wouldn't try to convince you because the reality is that interior design is a career that is not for everyone like any other career. For example, I would never imagine myself being a pilot because I get a little panicked when I get into a plane. So basically this means that what I'm about to tell you does not guarantee that interior design is the career for you. But rather this video is for those of you who are doubting about the interior design profession and don't know whether this career will align with your lifestyle, your goals and your personality as well. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get right into it. So the first reason is pretty convincing, although I said I won't be convincing you. But if you become an interior designer, you could potentially also become an entrepreneur. Isn't that cool? And I know it's easier said than done, but some interior designers do take this path of entrepreneurship and they become their own boss, they open their own companies, their own firms. So there is room for entrepreneurship in this career if that's something that you have ever thought of. I will leave some Instagram pages down in the description of this video of some designers um, and entrepreneurs that I personally love their work and they have done a very good job in launching their own companies. There are some careers that just don't allow for people to get creative and examples would be being a lawyer or being an engineer. There are constraints and there are rules that you have to stick to to be able to do your work correctly. In the design field, this will never happen. In fact, Creative minds are what are needed to be able to stand out in this industry. So if you consider yourself a creative person, and by the way, if you haven't checked my video on creativity, I will leave it up here so you can check that out. But if you love to get creative and create new concepts and ideas and designs, then interior design will be a very fulfilling career for you. I once worked at a retail shop and we used to sell paint. So we would sell gallons of paint every single day. And in the beginning, it was okay. Uh, the first weeks, I found it kind of fun. And honestly, I learned a ton of things. But after a couple months, after six months, the job became so boring. And don't get me wrong, but sometimes we have to have this type of side jobs to have some extra income on the side. But luckily at the time, I was already um, studying interior design. So what I'm trying to tell you here is that the interior design career or profession is never gonna be the same. You're always gonna be having to work on different projects and doing different things every single day and you will never do a project that is like the last one or like the future ones, it's all gonna be very different. And I feel like that makes this job so much fun because you never get bored. There's always new things, new problems, new ideas, new designs. And that's what I love about this career. So if you're someone who does not like to do the same tasks every single day, and there are jobs where you are gonna do that. And some people really love to be very, um, what's the word? It's like systems. They like systems to do the same thing all over and over again. And that makes them happy. But for us, and especially for people that are very creative, uh, it's hard for us to be happy doing the same thing all over again. So anyway, interior design, you will be doing so many different things every single day. So if that sounds like you, then interior design may be a really good option for you. Interior design is a career of service, which means that we create a service for the people which is designing their spaces. So this means that you will always be working with people and these people will not only be clients, but you will be working with a team of people to be able to execute the projects that you're working on. So you will be working with contractors, with painters, with cabinet makers, with builders, architects, engineers, plumbers, electricians, and the list goes on and on and on. If you are a people's person and you enjoy meeting new people and socializing, then this career will give you just that. 
And if you are not good communicating with other people, then this might be a really good time to start developing good communication skills because if you want to really scale up your way in the interior design industry, then this is a skill that you really need to have to be able to communicate in a effective way with all types of professionals. If you become an interior designer, you can actually choose what sector to specialize in, either commercial interior design or residential interior design. And within those sectors, there are a lot of spaces that you can design. So for example, let's say that in interior design school, all you did was designing bathrooms and you are kind of sick of them. Instead, when you become a professional, you can be focusing on things like libraries or like, actually, that's not a good example because libraries have bathrooms within them. But you know what I'm trying to say is you don't have to just design one type of space if you don't like that type of space. For example, I remember when I was in school, I never liked to design bathrooms. I don't know why for me it was, it was boring, but I found that designing commercial spaces was so much fun for me. So this is something that I am leaning towards more. So it is a very versatile career because there are many options and you can try them all and then see what's more fun for you and what you enjoy the most. In this industry, things take time. So from concept to completion, it's gonna be at least a couple of months until you finish a project. So this only means that you're gonna be working with the same people for a good amount of time. And this is really good because you can establish good, solid, long-lasting relationships with people. And also if you establish good relationships with your clients, it is very likely that they will recommend you to other people for the same services. So it's good for business and it's good for meeting people. So any career has its challenges, issues, complications, or whatever you want to call it. But especially for interior designers, I don't think there will be a day when you don't have any sort of challenge. And it can be as simple as all of a sudden your computer crashes down and you lose all of your work to something major like your clients are upset because the furniture wasn't delivered on time. So if you are down for the challenges and for the adrenaline, then I think that you can pretty much handle being an interior designer. One of the coolest things of becoming an interior designer is the impact that you will leave in the world and also on people's lives when you are designing their homes. Designing someone's place where they will spend years of their life with their families and with their friends is just pretty amazing. So for sure it is a rewarding career and yes, there are lots of work and lots of stress, but the impact that you create on people's lives is pretty remarkable too. So I think that's one of the strongest and coolest reasons to become an interior designer. This is literally my dream and this point is important because if you are super excited for designing any type of space, it doesn't have to be your dream home, but if you're just so excited about, I don't know, creating a restaurant or designing a hotel, if any of these thoughts have ever crossed your mind, then this probably means that you really want to become an interior designer. I remember I was like five years old when I used to watch these interior design shows on HGTV and I was just so excited, like I just wanted to do it, you know? So I think that being literally so obsessed about interior spaces and about transforming a space is enough reason for you to become an interior designer. So that was today's video, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it and you learned anything today. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.